Expo today with two featured items. One is our emergency escape tunnel systems, and the other one is a, a storage vault, an underground storage vault. Everything we do is underground. And so what we have here, this is our emergency escape tunnel system. And something like this can connect to your uh, basement, a foundation wall. And you could have it as a quick escape going out of your house. For whatever reason, if your house is compromised, for whatever reason, you can escape. You could go into an underground shelter. Or it could just be a place to get out to go up to um, a vehicle that's parked you know, somewhere else where you could go to that and escape, get away from your house. Or like a safe room type thing where you could go into it. Um, call the police or call for help. That's what this box is here. It's a cell phone. Yeah, booth. we do full-scale underground shelters. disaster shelters. Nuclear, biological, chemical proof shelters underground. That's what we do. Come in here. Let's What's go in here. Let me go inside here. Wow. So this is our, our underground storage vault. And what you see here, this can hold about five years worth of food for one person. Or anything else, it could be like family heirlooms, it could be important documents, anything of the sort that you want to keep safe. Um, if you're in forest fire prone areas or uh, high crime areas, you, know, you have valuables that you want to keep, you want to store. Uh, if you travel a lot, you know, uh, you could put your stuff in here and not worry about break-ins. And what is the access? Uh, the access is a hatch through the top here. And this particular one is designed just to put stuff in for no people. This is airtight, so there's no air. But obviously, or... you make these for yeah. people as well with the bigger configuration. Exactly. Yeah, we can make something this size for like a storm shelter type scenario that can have air. You know, a place you can go during a tornado or hurricane or. And for and... this particular unit, like what size hole do you dig for this? Um, this is probably about eight by fifteen. This is seven foot wide, 13 tall. Okay. So, you know, roughly. And someone, we, so, someone orders this, they would, uh, it would, you could have it shipped on a uh, flatbed or some sort yeah, of. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be shipped. We we ship. We, we do any any kind of work all the United States. And is this the cost up here? In Canada. That can be. Can be. Yeah. The different sizes. Sizes. What would this size unit go for? Roughly? This one will go for about twelve thousand. Wow. Yeah. Empty, not full of food. And that includes the uh, not full, right? Not stocked. Not stocked, not right? Stocked. And that includes that waterproof. That hatch that up includes on the, top. the hatch. Yep. Yep. Sweet. But I mean, we could do smaller shelters, you know, or smaller like uh, storage vaults. Yeah. It's like two foot tall, eight foot diameter, just like a cache. Okay. You know, somewhere where you could store things. And then you have another, you have another like waterproof hatch that you can get into that. Right, right, unit. yep. It's like building the house, you know, with the hatches. What kind of door do you want? Right. You want a doorbell? You can do whatever you want. Yeah. You want granite countertops? You want countertops at all? So people, want... people get in touch with you and they... Um... For the most part, everything we do is custom. Okay. I mean, I, I, I need a budget. If you can give me a budget, what you, you want. Then, then I can tailor something to that budget. To that budget. If you give me 5000 if you give me 500000 I mean, whatever your budget is, then yeah. I can work I can work with that. I can try and do something with that. And where are you located? We're in Silverthorne, Colorado. And what's your website? Uh, securitydisastershelters.com. 970-468-2125 is our phone number. Perfect. So if you're in high water areas, high groundwater areas and want to install something like this, the ideal situation is to um, have gravel four to six foot, you know, the bottom of it coming up four to six feet, about six to ten inches coming out from it, where that water can drain into, come down, and you're going to have a pipe down at the bottom where all that water will come into and it'll daylight somewhere. Okay. So again, another ideal situation is having this like on a hill. It's just or ideal. Got a slope. There's other, yeah, where there's a slope where that pipe can come out and it could daylight and it could drain. That's and just with high water. And what's on the bottom in there for some situation? So what we have here is just, again, where the water can collect. And then that hole there is where you can attach um, any kind of plumbing. If you want to attach like a sump pump, you can put a toilet or something. Whatever you want. Yeah. Anything. The bottom line here is this is custom and you can do whatever your imagination. It's custom, yeah. If you've got 
Adequate, adequate budget, adequate land, we can do anything. And what is it? What do you what do you recommend the coating on the outside? Are you coating with asphalt or something? Yeah, coating is coal tar coal on the tar. exterior. On the interior is a two part epoxy paint. Okay. And uh, that that'll last and nice. that'll give you almost. And you've got really adequate shelving in there. Yeah, lots of space. Like I said, this is at least five years. What you see right here, this is about five, uh, three years worth of food for one person. And I'm not even full. You haven't even have. touched the shelving. No, and, and everything's still in the boxes. Right. So you take all the cans outside of the boxes. You got more space. And you got a lot more space. Yeah. So five years is being pretty pretty conservative. Yeah. This is for a wireless antenna, again for a cell phone. If you needed to come down here, if you had like a safe room type situation, a place you needed to run to to be safe for a period of time, you needed to um, use your cell phone to call the police, call your loved ones, call your husband, call your wife, call your kids, whatever. Um, this this system here is going to allow you to do that underground in a steel And then does it have like an this. external antenna? Is that how it Yeah, works? this will have an external antenna. Okay. It could be camouflaged, you know, with trees or bushes or... You know, it doesn't need to, it doesn't take much to camouflage. Uh, we've been in the welding business for 40 years. We've been doing underground shelters for about two years. And business is, uh, business risk. is picking up. Yeah, business is starting to pick up. Yep. Um, we're, we got a lot of tire kickers. So if you're serious and you're ready to, to prepare, if you're ready to increase your family, if you're, if you're ready to increase your family's survivability, call me, Riley Cook. Security Disaster Shelters, 970-468-2125. Perfect. And what's the website? One more time. Security Disaster Shelters with an S dot com. And those are very sturdy. <laughs> uh, Three-eighths thick. Yeah, all the steel's three-eighths. Minimum three-eighths. Okay, three -eighths well, that, <laughs> that was totally cool. I'm very interested in bunkers, and um, Riley was fascinating, and... Um, if you guys are interested in a bunker, that's uh, one step to check out for sure. So very, very cool and very well made, very durable.